down towards the terminal. I crossed the little playground that's like probably like 10 minutes away from my house. And when I was walking past the um, playground, I heard a scream saying, help, help. And when I heard it, when I was going down, I've seen, you know, the little girl underneath the, the um, slide. And when I seen her, I told her to come here, and then I uh, picked her up on the gate, and then I uh, pulled her, and then I put, took my own jacket off, and I put my jacket on. What went through your head and your heart? I mean, it was just something crazy at the moment, because when I seen her, she only had a t-shirt on and it was wet. She didn't have nothing else on. She was barefooted, she was cold, she was shivering. And the first thing that came to my mind was like, this is a crazy moment right now to see this child out here at this time of night. Were you aware of the abduction? No, because I don't really watch the news. So I just, when I seen it at that moment, I was just like, kind of, you know, startled. Like, shower passing by. Was it a tiny voice? Was it a loud voice? Was, was that what brought your attention well, to that voice? Her voice, when I was walking, her voice kind of sounded like a, a cat that would meow. And it stuck to me, so when I got closer to it, it just, it, it kind of sounds so clear to me as help, help. And when, I, and when I heard that, that's what made me look towards the playground. And when I've seen the playground and see her under the slide, I was just like shocked because she was the only one in there and she was by herself, most of all. And then just with just a shirt on. 